Do you want to be a Rolex notary or a Casio notary? <laughs> I see you guys. I see you. Okay. We have a whopping 67% Rolex notary. <laughs> and we have a Casio. We have a Casio. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. So let me explain the difference between the two and why I only teach one of them. So with the Rolex notary, they're very value driven company. When you purchase a Rolex, you're purchasing it as an investment. As of 2022, Wall Street Journal has reported that Rolex watches actually held its value and made more money in this bad economy better than the housing market. Better than the housing market. So I'll let that marinate. It, be, it did better than your home. It was able to hold its value better than your home it it, it um they're very exclusive meaning that they're not going to run every single appointment because their time is very limited therefore they can charge more money per timepiece we're not going to release a million rolex watches of this type we're going to release maybe 10,000 across the United States and around the world, which this is how the formula works. You shorten the supply, you can increase your price. You shorten the supply, you can increase your price. This is why Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all of these other things do very well, Bergdorf, because they have a limited supply. Rolls Royce, all of these luxury brands, they cut the supply and they increase the price. You can only do that when you cut the supply. And then they offer superior craftsmanship where they'll, they're going to use precious metals, right? Like gold, platinum, silver, or whatever like that. Now, as the Casio, now, what does that mean as a Rolex? Okay. What does that mean as a notary? Rolex, Rolex notary. It looks like this. A person calls you and says, hi, I need to get a pile of attorney done. You're going to approach that phone call as a consultant, not an order taker. Okay. That's one, because you're going to deliver value. Secondly, you're going to let them know what times you have available to run that notarization exclusivity. Now, there, the people that get notarizations, especially high-paying clients, there's usually an investment attached to that. If a person gets a power of attorney, there's some investments attached to power of attorneys. If a person is getting a loan closing done, there's an investment attached to that document. If somebody is getting a liquor license notarized, there is an investment attached to that. And then your superior craftsmanship would be high level of convenience, the professionalism, um, expedited service, additional services that you may offer, such as, oh, you don't have to print out the, the paper. We'll print it out for you. Oh, you do not need to take it to FedEx for overnight delivery, we'll take it for you. That level of convenience cost. Now, when you go into Casio, Casio is more affordable, meaning that they're going to uh, make it more for the mass market. They're gonna have a wide range of style, which you probably see with notaries. They have a laundry list of not uh, documents that they can notarize. I'm talking about from A to Z. You could go on their website and you'll probably find 50, you know, 
type of documents they notarize. They mass produce it, meaning that they're going to do a lot of notarizations for the low. Let's be honest. They're going to do it for cheap. And then it's, it's low quality. So the experience that you're going to get when you call a, a Casio type of notary will be like, hey, the Rolex notary, you're going to get a professional greeting in the beginning. Thank you for calling U.S. Notary. This is Mark. How can I help you today? A Casio will be like, hello. <laughs> a Casio will be like, hello. It, uh, is this a notary business? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a notary. How can I help you? Kids screaming in the background. Their buddy 